Hello viewers, it's a beautiful Saturday morning and I'm going to show you today my turbine how, how is it working yeah? and the setup in the garage what is connected to the electrical grid the inverter and everything else yeah? we can see that the turbine is spinning but uh, the wind is like almost maybe one or two meters per second it's actually not usable volt uh, speed but you will see if I turn the camera you will see that yeah the leaves are, are moving yeah, on the trees and also the, the generator is spinning uh, we will now see uh, what's what is the speed uh, what is the voltage we are getting at this maybe, maybe one and a half meters per second I will turn on the light okay uh, so this is the complete system yeah? You will see right now uh, all what we need: the power inverter, the the the, the voltage meter, and the system for the braking of the turbine if the wind is too high. And you will see now. Yeah, you saw the wind outside. We are getting somewhere like 12, 4 to 12, 13 volts, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I don't have a focus. I don't know why so up to 15 volts yeah uh, unfortunately if we look here we are getting fault because inverter is 24 volts 24 to 60 volts yeah you can see now the model you can go google it on ebay it's a grid tie uh, power inverter and you can connect it directly to the electrical grid and it synchronizes the voltage yeah uh, the input voltage is uh, 24 yeah 260 volts yeah uh, in this range you you will get the uh, over here it will show up the green when it's loading now it's fault because uh, above 12 volts it shows it shows the fault and when it comes to the 24 volts or 22 volts uh, you will uh, you will get the green the loading yeah okay now let's get back here what do we have here uh, so our generator is connected through this cable yeah? its cable comes to the this connector yeah and then to the two position switch yeah and why is that you you see the cables are coming uh, down here and we can switch it we can switch it to the resistors yeah this is like uh, alloy of the tekas wire because this is like um, thermal resistors you can uh, you can buy that yeah it's i think 1 kilowatt each each one and uh, this is connected to this switch yeah so when the this, the wind speed is too high what we do if we now uh, put this switch down, you will see that the voltage will drop, yeah, not significantly, significantly, but it will. If if the wind speed would be high and the current is actually produced, then the, uh, we will. Uh, you will see. Okay, I will now turn. It's it's like 12 volts, and if I turn it on, the voltage will drop and the turbine will decrease in speed yeah now the the uh, the switch is down and the voltage has dropped yeah if i return it back now you'll see that the voltage will increase slowly because the speed is of the wind is really slow yeah and um, this is it yeah this is it so if you wanna if the wind is too high in speed you just connect instead of inverter you connect the resistors and the current will be dissipated in the resistors okay in this uh, between <laughs> it's, it's the funny uh, i took this uh, plate if this is like um, uh, a pasnost it means uh, a fire hazard yeah <laughs> but uh, we actually do not have a fire here but it could happen yeah if we do something wrong and this is like the diodes yeah this is like the diodes for each phase it's connected the wires yeah and then we have two wires 
uh, to the inverter yeah from the output of the diode bridge it goes two wires to the plus minus of the inverter and when the voltage is enough we produce the current uh, and it is transmitted to the electrical grid yeah it's synchronized and this is the complete system it's really easy uh, this is like some capacitors my father has exp uh, did some um, I don't know I don't know what he did with that but he thought that it would stab stabilize the voltage but it doesn't yeah it should be an electronic circuit for for doing that <clears throat> but the this is the complete setup yeah uh, we have another another uh, switch over here this is for when I buy the panel solar panels and then I will also have this switch to disconnect it and I do not want to produce the power yeah and this is it this is this is so much easy that it hurts yeah we have uh, we have uh, the let's say very simple system which can produce the 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 power yeah I can show you the other stuff here in the room yeah you will see uh, here this is this over here this was some some small generator for testing of uh, this kind of uh, wings yeah before we did the big one just to see how it spins this one actually spins really fast because uh, yeah when you have the bigger diameter yeah you will get the, the slower rotation speed yeah and if you have the lower diameter of the wings you will get the bigger speed yeah but lower power yeah the wings are very important if not the most important part and then we have here another if you see this is the support this is like i think this is one is a little bit bigger than the one now installed on the turbine it's like a spare one we can do another another set another generator with it yeah don't have to buy new steel for that okay we can see now that uh, the system is really simple we have only six diodes we have so one switch and the power inverter yeah and this is all connected to the electrical grid which is the power is synchronized and i must not say that but i can say it uh, it returns the the your electrical meter it will turn backwards if you have the analog one if you have a digital one it will not unfortunately yeah and this is it yeah this is the this is my system i i i, I like i i like what we did here yeah it works yeah? it produces the power you can see that the, the generator is spinning almost all the time yeah no matter how low the speed is but it will not produce in it the usable voltage it will spin yeah and it's you, you can hear yeah you can not hear nothing yeah this is why this is so good because the 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 no, the noise in the vertical vertical turbines are really really small or even none yeah the, the the noise is none i never heard it yeah this this sound from the generator of of spinning yeah and this is it yeah so uh, thank you guys for uh, for watching yeah i think i explained and showed you what you wanted to see that it's not just the project which is on the paper it's actually a working system which produces the power yeah and i cannot tell you in in which time it will pay off uh, maybe in a few years but as i said in my previous video the, the purpose of this is really to actually to learn something to see how this how the electric current is produced in the real life yeah with the wires magnets and and uh, the physical part of the project yeah okay thank you very much bye bye